you doing? Today I'm diagnosing a static issue with this guitar. It's a little cheap one I picked up in a garage sale, but it has this annoying little static. So we're going to fix that. Yeah, so, like I said, cheap little guitar from a garage sale, so. It was 30 bucks with an amp. So right here is where we get all the static. So what we're going to do is actually... Hmm. I might just do a Faraday cage on this guitar. And put some shielding in. Shielding tape. So I've just popped the knobs off and I'm actually going to basically take everything off the board. Makes it a little easier. Selector switch, volume pot, the volume pot has the cable going to the input, and then the two tone pots. There we go, that's a little easier now to get at. Check the connections, make sure they're all good. Make sure all the grounding is attached. This is a grounding strap for the bridge, I think. Okay. So we see here, we've got the cavity around the pots. have a little bit of grounding here, or shielding here. And what I'm going to actually do while I've got that off is just take a microfiber cloth and just go around to get the dust off from around the edges of the cavity. Try not 
have to pull on any wires. So in this section here is where we want to reduce and continue that Faraday cage up here to coincide with this part of the cavity here. So here I've just taken all the pickups off the guard. I can just easily work with the guard itself. Wipe it down. do is actually tape this area here. So a little trick, I think I'm going to go across the pickups as well, and I'll show you a little trick I picked up. Ideally I would use scissors to cut this, but wire cutters and tearing works just as well. It's just foil. So here's a little trick. Because the adhesive is not conductive, what I'm going to do is fold over a corner I can get it to stop sticking to my fingers. You fold over a corner like that and you make sure that that corner makes good contact with the piece underneath. And then the sticky part around the corner can keep it down. Now what I might do is tack that with a little bit of solder just to make sure it's got a good grounding connection. And then we put this all around the hole and then we'll trim it to the size of the hole. And that will make sure that we've got the cage extended in around the pickups as well. The other trick I've seen is to actually lay a piece upside down across and then put a sticky piece right over it to make sure it gets a good contact as well. Then you don't have to worry about soldering. So once you've got that, you can see I've got Just take your X-Acto knife, you follow the edge, Make 
sure that color just down. And there we go. Easy peasy. So now we've got a corner fold over there to make contact, a corner fold over there to make contact, one there, and one here. So we should be good. And the way you can test that is if we get our continuity tester. And you can test your continuity then across the entire thing. So we want to turn it on to our continuity. Mine makes a sound when you have good continuity, so so if we touch down here, we've got good continuity right through, and that's what you're checking for. So now when the grounding takes effect here in the cage, it's extended through and around the pickups as well. The other thing that you could do, and I've seen a lot of people do, is actually put tape throughout the cavity and make sure that the cavity itself has a good good bond the same way and then you roll it up around the edges so that it makes contact with the pick guard and then that will provide a good Faraday cage full grounding and then you should eliminate that buzz. Okay so I've got the guard all back together pots are back in and this is the best time to just go over and do a cleaning because it's more difficult when it's back in I like to line up the zeros because if, if I'm looking down on it, straight up. So looking down on it, zero is always going to be up so that you know exactly where they are and they're all lined up together. Call me OCD. So now we're ready to put this back in. So now I've got it all back together and I'm just going to test continuity and I know that one of these screws goes directly through the shielding that I put in so you see there's continuity to the bridge, there's continuity to the input, and there's continuity to the screws for the selector switch which also, which also goes through the shielding on the back of the pick guard. So we've got good, good grounding now. So let's plug it in and check it out. So now, remember how it was buzzing before when I did that? Not a crackle. Not even on this side. No grounding issues now. Nice. Now I just gotta tune it up. Though. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and please subscribe and uh, check back later for new videos.